Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. In this video, we are going through every single customization option in the game for BD-1, your little companion that sits on your shoulder. After this, we'll be going through the Mantis ship ones. Then I will be reviewing the game, and that's going to be me done with Star Wars. Unless you guys have anything you need help with, then feel free to let me know in the comments, and I'll try and get some videos out for it. Or I'll at least reply to the comments and try and help you out. I've already covered the outfits, the ponchos, I've done the lightsaber customization. There's a good amount of videos on the channel if you're interested to see anything else about this game. So starting with BD1, we have the original. I can't show you these in depth like I did with the ponchos, the outfits and the lightsabers. Just because BD1 is just always on your shoulder. You can't remove him, you can't see him separately, you can't rotate or anything like that. So he's going to be moving around my back and my shoulder whilst I'm showing you these. But you should get the general gist of it. So this is original, this is what you start the game with. Then we have the BD1 premium content. So they've been, like, tried being smart and funny by calling it the BD1. It's basically just yellow. Then we also have Crimson, which is red and he's kind of got racing stripes. It does look pretty cool. We also have Vanguard, which is a mixture of different colours. And you can see he's kind of looking at us right now as if to say, like, can you get this thing off me? Then we have Swoop, which is quite a smart one. It's a good balance, and I like how it's been designed to mix the blue and the orange together. There's not one colour that really overpowers the other. Then we have Blue Leader, exactly the same as the original, but it's my favourite because it's blue instead of red. It would have been nice if they could have made more of these, to have leaders of different colours, and maybe have Black Leader, because I would like the white primary with a black secondary. I think that would look quite cool. Then we have Balm Grass which is pretty much the same thing, it's just got green. So they've done it with a few colours. I think it would have been nicer if they just did it with all colours, or at least more than three. But that one is Balm Grass, moving on. We have Day of the Dianaga, or Diana... Yeah, I don't know. Pronunciation in this game hurts my head. But it's nice. It's green, purple, it's got some white in there as well. Pretty smart one. And moving on, we have Tabana, which I can't really see too much of it. It seems to be a nice mixture between black, blue, and white. We also have Sundari Dawn, or Sundari Dawn, which is just primary green with a bit of yellow. Again, racing stripes on top, looks quite cool. Then we have Zagag Wave, which is black with the pink secondary of the racing stripes. Probably one of my favourites in the game, although pink doesn't really fit this game at all. If you've seen the video with the ponchos, the pink Sumi poncho is just, is way out there. I don't know why the devs created it. A bit of a crazy one. But moving on from the gag wave, we have Yavin Prime, which is pretty much just a, a dull, I would say this is red. But then if you look at the image on the right hand side, like the symbol for it, it looks red. So we're going to say that's red, Yavin Prime, moving on. We have Myrmidon, which is just all brown. Couple of little black bits on there, but not too much. It's quite a smart one. I like BD1 having a solid colour as well as having a mixture. I mean, he's just a, he's a cool little robot, so either way, he's going to look good. Then we have Bestine or Bestine, I don't know how you say it again. It's kind of like a cyan. I think that would actually look quite nice with a cyan lightsaber. In other words, it's a fancy shade of blue. Then we have Sumi, which is completely different to the Sumi poncho. This is purple with a secondary of green. And I must say, it looks way better than the Sumi poncho. The poncho, I'm going to show you. I wasn't going to, but I will. Just look at it. It's just, it doesn't fit this game at all. It doesn't match the setting. It doesn't look good on Cal. What is wrong with it? It's disgusting. But moving on. The Cantonica is quite nice. It's got like a metallic sort of shine to it. I do like that one. But coming into the penultimate, we have Grungio. I can't really see a BD, thank you, move over a little bit. It's kind of like an off-gold type thing. I can't really explain what that looks like. I'd say it's basically like a dull gold. And then probably one of my favourites, we have Stygian Prime, which is just pure black. And I mean, as I said earlier, BD1, he's a cool, cute little robot. He's going to look good in whatever colour you want to put him on. I do, like, thinking about it, I do wish the developers gave us more customization in terms of we should have been able to find, like, one big secret because all of this stuff comes out of crates. There should have been one special crate to get the item from that crate 
would give you the ability to actually customize your things how you want them. So not necessarily put in different shapes and stuff like onto your poncho, but give you a default sort of look and then give you a color wheel so that you can set different parts yourself. So you can have this black primary color, you can have white racing stripes, and then you could brighten up instead of having like the metal look on the front, like where his eyes are and down on the side of his legs, you can make that stuff white as well. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions and stuff in the comments. Which one of these 18 colors is your favorite? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.